how to fish a jig for bass. Huge question, we get it all the time on LureNet.com. Today, we're gonna break down how to fish this dude, what to throw it on, where to fish it, everything that goes into it. Well, what is a jig? Simply, this is a piece of lead or tungsten, carries a soft plastic trailer with a skirt and a weed guard on it. Right here, we've got a ball head jig. This is a War Eagle heavy finesse jig. This is an excellent option for first time anglers because you can skip it, you can hop it, drag it, swim it, all of the above puts you a good trailer on it and it's ready to go. Let's go out there and fish it. There are tons of different ways that you can fish a jig, but I like to base it all around the time of year. Right now, we're in that fall to winter transition. Days are getting shorter, it's getting a little colder. I like to fish this dude pretty slow. Fish it on the bottom, dragging, short hops near pieces of cover. We're fishing around some trees today in a pond. It's a great option. But I'm gonna put that jig out there next to a piece of cover. I'm gonna let it fall down to the bottom. It doesn't take long because it weighs you know, three eighths of an ounce. Hit the bottom and I'm just gonna start a slow drag back to me. I'm gonna pull it around every tree, every piece of cover. When I feel something, I'm gonna go even slower. I'm just gonna really crawl that thing. Get it over the top of it. I might give it a couple of pops, make that thing jump like a crawfish trying to flee. And then I'm gonna set the hook. Oh. Couldn't work out any better than that. Came over a tree, just drag it over. He was probably looking at it, gave it a couple of quick hops. He decided to bite right in the top of the mouth. And this is a bait, any jig that you're fishing, you want to set the hook hard. So you want to use rod and reel that's got a medium heavy to a heavy action. Doesn't have a lot of bend to it so you can crack them and you can get them up to you. Because you're always going to want to use a decently heavy hook. This heavy finesse jig, that's why it's called heavy finesse, got a heavy hook to it. A great tip for working this bait, it's just imagine that is a crawdad, a little bluegill down there swimming around. Put it in shallow water next to you, pull it around, and get an idea of what that dude looks like down there in the water. Because that's how you're going to want it to act, just like whenever you're passing by all these trees. A jig is basically the care of a trailer. The trailer makes it. So you want to make sure you got something that is sized up right to match whatever forage you're fishing around. I got a young craw bug on my War Eagle Heavy Finesse jig here. It's matched up to the water clarity. You want to make sure it looks right. If the action is super key to the trailer. This right here, it has not much action. It's great for colder water like we're in right now. And like all lures, whenever you're sliding a trailer on them, you gotta make sure that it is on there perfectly straight. You don't want this thing to be over there crooked because there's not many crooked looking crawdads crawling around the bottom. Huge important point whenever you're fishing a jig, and you're fishing around a specific piece of cover, throw it all angles. Do not just go one angle, come across, be done. Go all the way around that piece of cover. Bass are gonna be positioned on different sides of it. They even have different temperaments. They want something to come across their nose just like they want it sometimes. Oh, there he is. Dave, it's a good one. Jigs catch good bass. That is all I know, man. Why don't you just get you a November and December Banking Creek Tackle Kit? Please don't break my rod and catch you some big bass on a heavy finesse jig. <laughs>